Okay, my friends, this should be a trip. Now, I, it's because I am about facts, and this apparently is a fact, and you can discuss it amongst yourself and decide if it's a fact or not. Think on your own. That appears to be an embryo. And I want you to notice something here. Whoops. You see this here? You see how dark that is? And you see this trail here? You see that black trail running back to here? It's back to this spot. It emerges from this spot right here. Do you see that? Let's look at this a little closer. Alright, we see the black trail going back. And we see it going to here. And we see a little reddish looking, bloody looking stuff. And there's that trail coming back. And this, I believe, is a vagina. And out came that egg or that fetus and traveled right here in this pathway. And this, my friends, appears to be sperm. Okay, so these guys here were traveling down trying to get to the egg. Well, some of the guys won. And then the egg, I believe, spit out this black stuff to kill the rest of them. You see how they're all trying to get in here? You see them? Well, the, the winner gets in, the rest of them get killed. I, th I know that's the way it works in nature, and I'm looking like it looks like it's what's happening here. And here is what we're seeing. And here is what I'm saying is, uh, is the uh, DNA is being formed. See them all over the place. See, look at this. Let me show you this. I'm going to try to come in. You look close at this here. You see those little breaks? Look now. Deep in here, you go. They're showing all these different variations, but it's the clouds are just becoming more and more swirly the higher that mound gets, the Venus mound, the mons pubis. That's exactly what they call it, the female vagina. The mons pubis is right up here. It's right above the clitoris area. And the bottom is down here, and that is the vagina, and the wind is spinning around here faster and faster because it is swelling and that's what happens you know what happens to a woman's anatomy when they're about to have a baby and they say this important data helps them understand the great red spot but they really don't understand it because they just think it's a, a storm it is not I'm going to show you something that's going to be very 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 hard to dis dismiss and it, that's the case right now. Every university has dismissed this and refuses to discuss it. That's very distressing when our educators refuse to do their jobs. I mean, everybody now is refusing to do their jobs. Nobody cares about the truth anymore. That's what I see. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't think so. Okay, my friends. It, it, this is just over-the-top, crazy, insane, and true. I discovered mud fossils, and I have such a collection of them, it's just unbelievable. And they're just laying around. This is not something I really had to work hard to do. My buddy Caesar and I have been working on this for 12 years now. Caesar's feathers are still in pretty good shape. <laughs>